Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chumps channel. Today we have an overview of the Saber Mach Dark Storm lightsaber. I have done the in-depth review already, so if you want to check it out, uh, check out that video. This is a beautiful lightsaber, as you can see, a very unique design. And it has some really cool features that I want to cover uh, really quickly. So, there's something really cool about the Saber Mach lightsaber and let's delve right into it. So, so let's start with the features of this Saber Mach Darkstorm lightsaber. It comes with the Prism 5.1 soundboard by Plector Labs, which is uh, basically the equivalent of the Crystal Shard 4.5, which is used by Vader's Vault. Now the Crystal Shard 4.5 is not commercially available, only to a very few select vendors, including Vader's Vault and three other ones, I believe, including JQ. Q sabers if I'm not mistaken uh, but the Prism 5.1 is exactly the same more or less in terms of the features etc it's just the dimensions of the board are slightly different um, so you can color changing on the fly it has all the motion detection just like the highest uh, tier soundboard they have by Plector Labs which is the Crystal Focus so you can expect very accurate motions etc um, very beautiful color changing uh, it has 16 color profiles it has uh, multiple sound banks as well um, I will show some uh, of the um, uh, during my during my overview you will see all the specification going through the bottom of this uh, video uh, but it has some really cool features so let me turn on the lightsaber and uh, go through them really quick so I'm gonna turn on the lightsaber, just took it out of deep sleep mode, that's what you just heard. Turn her on. As you can hear, it's a uh, quite uh, loud lightsaber as well. The pommel design is actually very uh, nicely done. It's a bit harder to see from uh, here, maybe a bit out of focus, but it has the Saber Mach logo on it. And it has a very good two-hander, as you can see. And it has this choke point in the middle. So that really allows for a nice grip in the middle. And if you want to have a full, uh, full contact to the lightsaber, you can grip in this flat area with your bottom hand. The cover tech wheel is clear from your hand, so there's no issues there. And then you have this whole top section to hold the lightsaber. Uh, the auxiliary switch is very easy accessible as well. I, lo I love doing this, I can do this all day long. Very fun, I like it. Um, and so does color changing. You hold the uh, main switch and the aux switch at the same time. And we're gonna change through the colors. And we do it like this. So that's really cool as you can see. Um, 16 uh, color fronts or color profiles I should say. So you just set it uh, to a color you like. Now let's say I like this color a lot and then hold it to this color. Sorry guys, I can't stop it. Um, again, loud lightsaber, a very cool design, good two-hander. It has this uh, special finish that uh, basically uh, allows sweat and uh, smudges to be wiped off very easy. Um, it prevents uh, degradation of the hilt because it's an alloy and by cleaning it off and wiping the, the surface really easy um, it always makes it looks nice and shiny and if you have like a preference for shiny lightsabers that is the type of finish you want because otherwise you have a lot of elbow grease to actually try to clean your lightsaber over and over and over and over and I experienced that with a lot of lightsabers that were coming in a uh, in a high glossy finish like this like a high shine finish you constantly have to clean it a lot and it, it's taking a lot of effort to take out those smudges and fingerprints with this type of finish it's very easy you just wipe it off and it's gone the smudges are gone it's it's it doesn't stick to the surface which i really really like especially if you live for example in asia like me in hong kong um, having these kind of finishes on your lightsaber is also good from the point of view because we have humidity here in asia and especially in hong kong it's pretty high so if I would leave this lightsaber unfinished uh, out and about and the, uh, the uh, corroding of the uh, alloy will start very easy. Um, you get these little white dots on your alloy and over time it will completely destroy the alloy itself. But by having this kind of finish you'll prevent that and that is fantastic. So again I turn on the lightsaber, let's see if there's any uh, other sound banks for us to uh, play with. 
hold the off button and change to the sound banks. I think it uh, holds six sound banks. Now I've been playing with the sensitivity, so now it's not as sensitive here as I want to. So I, I might, I might have messed up some of the uh, swing <laughs> sensitivity settings. Sorry about that. Uh, I think this is uh, dark meat, if I'm not mistaken. Now this is of course the Prism 5.1 soundboard, so it is as sensitive as the Crystal Focus point, uh, 9 and even the Nano Biscotti version 4. But basically it comes down to configuring the settings to the sensitivity that you want to have for your swings, for your clashes etc. I've been tinkering a bit too much with it, I forgot to put it back so um, I'm not able to show off the, uh, the, the, the motion so good but uh, excuse me for that yeah I've been playing too much with the uh, settings So a few things in predict about this lightsaber. If you're seeking for a lightsaber experience such as for example at Vader's Fold um, and you want to have a sleek lightsaber that is, uh, is good for two hands and is just high crafted with the high end quality. So to conclude the Saber Mach Dark Storm uh, is the following. I really enjoy it. It's a really high end piece. So if you're looking something like Vader's Fold, you want to have a sleek hilt, a beautiful uh, hilt design. You want to have a high end chassis with a high end installation, which is very important. In this case, it's also a, a very good soundboard as well by Plector Labs, the Prism 5.1. Uh, it's really well regarded within the lightsaber community. I would definitely check out Saber Mach and all their offerings they have because they have a whole bunch of different lightsaber designs, including cross guards. I saw a Kanan Jarrah's lightsaber, a whole bunch of these lightsabers they have and uh, even can uh, do a commission for you if you want to. If you want to have something truly uh, specified and custom made for you, you can check them out. Um, I love the finish on it. It's very useful, especially for me with my sweaty hand palms. Uh, it's just a unique looking hilt and I really enjoy playing with it. The ox switch is very sensitive. I love it. Color changing is amazing. Powered by the Prism. Uh, 5.1 soundboard by Plector Labs is just amazing brand, amazing soundboards from uh, Plector Labs. And uh, overall, I'm uh, very, very pleased with this lightsaber. So let me know in the comments what you think about this lightsaber. Do you like it? And are you getting one yourself? And if you do get a Saber Mach Saber, which one are you getting? Let me know in the comments because I'm really eager to know what your preferences are in terms of hill designs, etc. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and hopefully, I see you in the next video. Bye bye.